Hi everybody, a uh, little impromptu video here. Uh, this is from my last trip to Puerto Rico, my first trip, my last trip. This is for a project that um, we're doing for the USDA, United States Department of Agriculture. It's a study of the influence of soil types and weather on uh, coffee flavor, uh, flavor profile. So this, uh, this wasn't a trip to a farm, this is a trip to an agricultural research station um, run by the USDA there in Puerto Rico. As you already know, Puerto Rico is a protectorate of the United States, so um, the USDA has assumed a jurisdiction there. These are little micro samples of coffee that are being dried in this drying bed uh, at the research station. This is a little mini coffee processing facility. Those of you who have seen coffee processing before recognize this parchment coffee in the raised drying beds, maybe even that plastic tarp they're using to protect it from the rain. Uh, but you've probably never seen it on such a small scale. Uh, but that's because, again, this isn't really a farm or a washing station. This is an impromptu setup. Although I should say impromptu is the wrong word. Uh, a lot of care and effort has gone into this project and so uh, everything's been very carefully thought out. That's a pulping machine you just saw uh, that they're using to take the cherries, uh, take the uh, skin and pulp off the cherries before they're fermented, washed and dried. These are the individual samples. So that's, that's from one farm. If you look at it, it's got the name of the guy, the date it was taken in, uh, the varietal, the name of the farm, and inside there's more tags. We also have an entire book full of the information from each one of those farms. And uh, when they're done drying the coffee, uh, which takes a few days, uh, they check it for moisture and and then they pull the sample and bag it. I was just asking him, so how are you checking it? Just by experience, he says, oh, no, no, no. We, uh, we use experience to guess when it's close and then we use this, <coughs> excuse me, use this moisture analyzer here to, uh, uh, to check it for sure. Uh, for those of you who have never seen one of these moisture analyzers before, it's a very straightforward machine. You can find them in just about any coffee processing facility. You just put the uh, green coffee inside that little uh, dish there, you squeeze it tight, which uh, chews up the beans in a way, and then a little electrical current measures the conductivity of the beans, which then tells you their moisture content. And this sample here, we're reading it is about 10.5%, which is pretty good. A little on the low side, but within the parameters that we're looking at. This is just a, a view from the uh, coffee, or from the agricultural research station there. It's in the area of Adjuntas and Hayuya, which is in the center of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is sort of square-shaped, and it would be re rectangular, and it's right in the middle of that rectangle. For those of you who've been to Puerto Rico, you will recognize this sound that's playing in the background right now. That is a little frog called El Coqui, and uh, it's everywhere in Puerto Rico, and it makes that lovely singing sound, or annoying singing sound, depending on who you are. I think it's nice. Um, it can make it a little difficult to fall asleep if you're not used to it, uh, but it's nice. Anyway, that's El Coqui singing yeah. in the background. Yeah. So what is this project all about? I This this is really exciting, uh, very interesting, and I'm not aware of um, any other project like it. It's a study of the influence of soil types on flavor profiles. So, these are these bags full of colored dirt. Each one is a soil sample from a coffee farm in Puerto Rico. And each one of these bags corresponds to one of the bags of the coffees that Wigmar, a fellow with the silver hair, was showing us in the, pre, in the earlier part of this video. So you can imagine if we take down all the information about processing, uh, altitude, soil type, um, variety, everything that goes into the flavor of the coffee and then analyze the flavor, uh, we can get some really good data. So um, what we're most interested in is the soil types because Puerto Rico for such a small 
country with a relatively small area of coffee uh, cultivation has got a really huge variety, naturally occurring variety of soil types. And you can just tell that just visually from looking at the different colors of these samples. So we're having all those samples um, chemically analyzed in the United States and we're, um, we're going to do some cupping on it. We've got about 90 to 100 samples. In order to assure that we get really uh, clear flavor profiles, um, we had to make sure that we were getting absolutely red ripe cherries. That's what coffee looks like when you get it from the farm in most origins. And when you pick it uh, relatively clean and get those green ones out, you can end up with a sample that looks like this, which looks better, but it's not quite the fully, fully, fully red cherries that's going to give you a really clean, sweet uh, flavor. So part of my project down there was to uh, make sure that we were getting red cherries. That's what those folks were doing at the table, a little workshop on what counts as red and what doesn't. And as usual in this uh, video, uh, like I like to do, I just a little bit of shooting out the window of a moving car to give you an idea of what the vegetation is like. Um, San, uh, Puerto Rico is a very um, modern, advanced area, uh, especially in the cities. But it uh, still has this very rustic, beautiful feel up in the mountains where the coffee is growing. Um, and very nice. It's such a lush place. Um, so much greenery and growing everywhere. You can see in a couple of these shots that um, you have like bamboo that overgrows you, uh, that, that meets together over your head as you're driving through. So it's like driving through a bamboo tunnel. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're going to uh, get these samples from Puerto Rico very soon here in December and get them roasted up and cupped and analyzed as well as the soil samples uh, analyzed at a lab here in the U.S. And we're going to collate all that data and uh, actually make a multi-level, full-color digital map, huge size uh, file digital map of Puerto Rico that correlates all this data which should be really, 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 really interesting. And as that project continues, I promise I will share it with you here on the blog. Um, so thanks for watching.